what NASA got wrong about the God of Chaos asteroid, the Apophis asteroid, is exposed in this shocking claim. Research scientist Michael Horn says that uh, NASA has been wrong about the God of Chaos asteroid called Apophis and uh, may be forced to take a potential impact more seriously in the future. This is by Gerard Conga of Express UK. Well, we know that there have been recently a few asteroids that careened into the Earth that weren't supposed to. They were supposed to go out sailing past the moon into the wild black yonder of space. And yet, on July 25th, this asteroid that was supposed to be going sailing beyond the moon came careening into our Earth, into the Caribbean Ocean. And that's when the astronomers came out describing that that was the Yarkovsky effect. The sun had heated up the surface of the asteroid to the extent that it was like a, a jolt or a, an impact or a, a blast on the surface of the asteroid causing it to tumble on its axis and careening out of its trajectory and into Earth. Other asteroids they have never seen coming at us, they have come out saying that they can't possibly detect all of them in time. Some of them they see maybe a day before, two days before, even 20 hours before. And if that was supposed to be coming at us and supposedly a city killer, there be there would be nothing that anybody could do to stop it. Now, research scientist and official representative for Billy Meyer, Michael Horn, insists that NASA has previously been wrong about their predictions of the Apophis asteroid, meaning the God of Chaos asteroid. During an interview with Express, he claimed the space agency NASA would likely now be taking the dangers of the asteroid more seriously. Horn said NASA firstly dismissed the possibility that Apophis would hit the Earth. They have changed that multiple times now. Fortunately, they are seemingly taking a little more seriously the fact that it can careen into, into Earth. But initially they were completely dismissed of it, he said. Then they had to correct their own size estimate of Apophis to within 25 meters of what the original discoverer a man named Billy Meyer stated, Meyer first published his info on Apophis. At that time, he referred to it as the Red Meteor, but he published this information in 1981. That was about the near certainty of Apophis eventually impacting the Earth. He published that 23 years before NASA's so-called discovery in 2004. He says, he goes on to say, I want to state up front, I am not an astrophysicist nor a mathematician, but NASA had to change their estimate and calculations. There may have been a number of factors that they had to take into consideration, and we might hit one or two of them in that discussion. NASA already begun preparations for the arrival of asteroid Apophis, dubbed the God of Chaos asteroid, which will skim past our Earth in 10 years. The asteroid measures about 340 meters across, it's about uh, 1,200 feet across, and will pass within just 19,000 miles of Earth's surface. And Apophis is one of the largest asteroids to pass so close to Earth's surface, and a collision with the planet has the potential of devastating all life on Earth. The asteroid is set to get closer to the Earth than communications and weather satellites that are in orbit around our Earth. Most satellites in Earth's orbit are geostationary, orbit 36,000 kilometers away. That's 22,236 miles from the planet. Apophis is traveling at about 25,000 miles an hour, meaning a slight detour from its trajectory could be catastrophic. Michael Horn also reflected the comic illustration of Billy Meyer's presumed initial discovery of the Apophis asteroid before NASA titled the Adventures of Billy Meyer. Okay, so um, it's coming with just uh, uh, within just uh, nineteen thousand miles of Earth, whereas our geostationary orbits are twenty-two thousand two hundred thirty-six miles from Earth. 
So it will be closer to us than our, our satellites are. Um, okay, and we, let's remember what happened this past April. They were having a tabletop asteroid mitigation exercise. They have that every two years. And the details they took were just about the size and the time frame and even, you know, the month of the year of Apophis coming in. And uh, supposedly they did not pass that. Something happened and uh, it was only a table tabletop exercise. It happens every two years. The next time it's going to happen sometime in Europe. Um, anyway, this past one they had um, in Maryland, I think, and they didn't pass that. Supposedly they nuked the asteroid and part of it came off and slammed into New York City and that caused a disaster there. So um, that's not even the real thing. That's why they have the uh, asteroid mission for the Didymus, Didymus asteroid, the Didymus and the Little Moon, the... Uh, uh, big main uh, asteroid, it's a double asteroid. The main asteroid is the size of a mountain and the moonlet is the size of a pyramid and they're going to smash an aircraft into the little moonlet that's the size of a pyramid to see if they can nudge it significantly out of its trajectory. And uh, they'll be doing that in the next couple of years as a trial run. I'll leave links below for you for this on Express UK. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today more of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.